Multiple eruptions on the sun's surface, some of the biggest you will ever see. Why now? And what does it mean for the Earthlings down here? Huge solar flares are erupting on the surface of the sun. In the past week now, six massive flares have spewed from the sun. So what's up with that? Tarek Malik is the managing editor for Space.com and with me here in studio. How are you? Nice to see you again. What is up with that? What's well, going on? Well, the sun is just showing its active, kind of angry, if you will, side. Uh, it's got this giant sunspot that is just popping off but these th flares. These aren't just... These aren't just regular flares. They're the size of Jupiter, and they're as big as the sun can produce. Yeah, yeah. So we saw basically over the last few days these huge solar flares. They are called X-class flares. They're the top of the, the Richter scale that the sun actually has for these events. And uh, and it just came one after another, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In fact, there was uh, one yesterday, a, a flare just, uh, just this morning, too. Is there a reason why? Well, the sun is, uh, it has a weather pattern just like Earth, and uh, it's, it takes 11 years to do it, and we're in kind of the tailing end of the really active part of that, of that schedule now. So you expect to see sunspots like this giant Jupiter one that we have uh, there now. You expect to see more intense flares during that time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, well, but when we talk to you folks, you say, hey, this is the thing you have to worry about because this can knock out your iPhone and your GPS, and then we're all... Yeah, and what well we saw, for it. what we saw from this one here, this this uh, uh, giant sunspot, was that it did create these strong radio blackouts. They were temporary uh, when they happened, but we did not see like the major kind of interference in no your GPS, damage. your 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 cell phones. We didn't see that, so I think we kind of dodged a bullet with the with this one here. Y you do, yeah, dodged a bullet. Yeah, I mean, uh, you you can you can think a, a huge eruption of material that usually comes with these flares. We didn't see a lot of that uh, with these activities. Uh, if one of those had been aimed right at the Earth during the time, we would see the effects you know, a couple days afterward and it could be a, uh, mm. an interesting event. <laughs> wow, so you could see this from the roof of your building. That's right. In lower Manhattan? That's right. How's yeah. that possible? Well, we have, uh, you can buy them just by the dozen. We have these uh, solar eclipse glasses. You do not want to look at the sun with just sunglasses or anything because you can really damage your eyes but eclipse glasses solar filters on telescopes binoculars that type of thing uh, you can safely look at the sun we uh, looked up you know you could see it with your own eyes wow. this black dot uh, on the lower right hand side of the sun uh, and it was just amazing to think that, I, that I, dot, I mean this you do this for a living have you have you been able to see that before you know i, I, I it's the first time that i've ever uh, seen anything like that. I've looked at the sun through binoc uh, binoculars with p filters um, and uh, and with eclipse glasses, but never actually seen a sunspot with my own eyes like that before. I'm feeling the big ones coming, Tarek. <laughs> I don't know if it's now or 100 well, years We've now, got a lot of spacecraft watching it, a lot of uh, warning kind of networks that are tracking these storms right now just so that we can be prepared. Thank you. Tarek Malik from Space.com. Thanks. All right.